Well, good morning. Checking in. Day number four. Starting off here at Woods Hole Shelter, mile marker 27.7. First 1.8 of the day is climbing up Blood Mountain. It's going to be a fun one. It's beautiful. It's foggy. It's cool. I can't wait. Let's head out and see where today takes us. Catch you on down the trail. Point five miles in the wrong direction out of Blue Blaze. We're supposed to be going up there. So there's an extra mile for the day. Uh, pay attention, folks. <laughs> It'll save your ass. Climbing into a cloud this morning. It's pretty. Temperature's all right. Got about 500 feet to go. We'll get going. Up into the clouds. The trail to the very top here, Blood Mountain. It looks really cool, but it's a steep one. After taking that side trail, that blue blaze for half mile in the wrong direction downhill this morning, spirits were a little bit lower, a little bit of a loss of morale, but I think once I get to the top here, Things gonna change. So, almost there, almost there. Almost there. This little dude <laughs> just wants food from everybody, but I ain't got nothing from him. <laughs> but yep, we are here up at the Blood Mountain Shelter, I'm headed to the top of Blood Mountain. Oh. Privy for this was the closest that any of us have seen to the trail so far, so. Let's go inside, check it out. Not gonna lie, looks a little bit rapey. Graffiti everywhere. Gut Hook Guides calls this, describes this shelter as dank, and I, I can see why. You know, it's, it's old, it smells old. It smells like old fireplace. But open windows, or at least there's a nice breeze rolling through here. Yeah. So we'll see if we can find a view out here real quick. I am not signing that log book because I don't know who else has been here, but you know, blocked off the old fireplace here. So that's Blood Mountain Shelter. And uh, let's see if we can find a view over there. Uh, the cloud, clouds parted just a little bit. We're getting a little bit of a view off the uh, northern side of Blood Mountain here. But yeah. First big climb of the Appalachian Trail. Highest point on the AT in Georgia, 4,442 feet. Done. Check it off the list. So now we're just gonna keep going. Got a couple miles down to Neil Gap, Neil's Gap, whatever it's called. Mountain crossings. The hostel's closed, but we might stick down there to wet camp or I might even get a cabin. It might be time for a zero to do some laundry and get a shower and some hot food. So we're going to get down the hill. I'll see you down there. It's so moist and wet up here. There's moss growing right on the trees of these branches, but through the trees, that's a pretty solid view out there. I wish I could do better, but I don't know. Maybe let's see if we can climb up over here a bit. Yeah. If I don't fall and break my shit. There we go. That is a view. Top of Blood Mountain, everybody. I was just gonna keep trekking when I saw this little hit off to the side. Holy crap, it's pretty up here. Clouds parted just enough as well as I got to the top. Let's see. All that. We hit about two something miles at the bottom now. So, don't think there's gonna be much to see on the way, but if there is, you know I'm gonna get it on film for you. Catch you in a bit. Okay, 
Yeah, I was wrong. I think it's better. A water-filled geological marker. Yeah. But hot damn. Almost 360. The clouds burning off. Can't see much over there, but this is this is good. And we got some of my trail friends hopping up here. Hey! Uh, Disco and Tortuga. What's Don't up? officially have my what name up, yet. What up? But we're gonna keep uh, keep motoring down this mountain. If there's Who's anything cool. Uh, yeah, motorboat. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that, that view is pretty special out there. So if I see anything else cool, you guys will be the first to know. See you on down there. Okay, yeah, not gonna lie, this side is ridiculous. We just all kind of hop down here to the next section. Yeah, there's a lot of folks that kept on running. They didn't wait for the clouds to clear. But. <laughs> yeah, the rock's the best idea. Just, but yeah, this is blood now. I mean, I thought we'd be moving. I keep getting stopped because, holy crap. Every time we stop somewhere, the view is just absolutely insane. This climb was rough, but this was totally worth it. This was totally worth the climb. Even that crappy, you know, extra mile from the, the blue blades we took this morning. This is great. I wish y'all could be up here with me. This is, this is cool. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe this. The tree's just starting to get their leaves and buds up here. Oh, and the clouds are rolling back in. I think we timed this perfectly. All right, now I swear, this time we're getting back on trail. I'm gonna take a couple pictures and we'll get down there. All right, so we're coming down Blood Mountain now. Got two point something, I didn't even check that hook. I don't know the exact number to get down there and I gotta keep stopping because all these views and the morning dove <laughs> all these views out here yeah these views are something special if you ever reach a point where you don't like looking at views like this you, you don't yeah just don't come out here because this is this is fantastic. Yeah, that way. Downhill. <laughs> yeah. Too many side trails to see cool shit. <laughs> Stepping out onto this mountain. Wow. Somebody got lazy with a white blaze, used a piece of tape. I can respect that. I hope it's not the slippy kind of fun as I almost fall to my doom. Pretty much straight down that hill. But we're getting close. Coming up on a water crossing. Screwed up a few times, but I'll get back to that later. I'll see you on down there. That's a big old cool rock. Huh. 
Neat. A couple more rocks here. But I'm pretty sure the trail goes that way, so. That's a lot crop. Might take a breather. But we gotta keep moving. So, I know I'm getting close to mountain crossings at Neil, excuse me, Neil Gap, because I can hear cars. And the only thing I can think is that when I get there, I'm getting a frozen pizza. Because I have been looking forward to that for two days now. And I figure I've earned it. Especially after this morning's shenanigans. So sorry about the shaky camera. I gotta get something to work on that, but I'm just gonna make it down here, relax for a bit. I might even get a cabin and use today as a Nero. So we shall see when we get there. Where'd he go? Climbing up the trees. Got a friend down here. I see you, little buddy. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Blood Mountain Wilderness. Chattahoochee National Forest once again. A lot of info on here, but nothing I haven't seen yet. And that is where I'm headed. Paved roads, it's a good sign. As long as I don't get hit. Scoop. And this is Neil Gap. Mountain crossings. And this is the infamous oak tree with all the shoes in it. Pause it if you want to read it. I'm gonna come back to it and read it later, but all the shoes of the through hikers that only made it 33.3 miles and gave up. The AT continues right through the shop here. I'm gonna continue through there later, but right now, like I said, horrible transition. But that said, but that said, I'm gonna have a pizza. Enjoy the shit out of myself. I'll catch y'all here in a little bit. I'm not bad to sit here and listen to that after coming down Blood Mountain, I tell you. They're out of pizzas at mountain crossings. Oh well, I got a couple days resupply. That cost me enough. It'll be enough to get to the next uh, big stop. A uh, couple days, you know, kind of sorted out later. But um, oh, that is louder than I thought it was. But might be staying in the cabin tonight. Um, let's see what's up. But we're winging it. It might be a Nero. I might get back on trail and do some more uh, later stuff. So kind of when the weather holds off. We're not sure about what it's going to be. It might rain. It might not. But. We're gonna wing it, so I'll catch y'all later. Four days of dirt, sink laundry. Man, that is nasty. But hey, uh, still getting clean. All right, everybody, we got a bit of a recap for you on day number four. 
Uh, we did make it to Mountain Crossings at Neal's Gap, or Neal Gap, whatever you want to call it. I've seen it on signs both ways and, and writing both ways, and nobody actually knows for sure. Not even the folks that actually work there at Mountain Crossing. So, um, but we are at mile marker uh, 31.3. It was a short day. Only did uh, 27.7 to 31.3, a 3.6 mile day. Um, took a Nero. Uh, we're staying here now. I say we. There's a couple dudes I've kind of grouped up with in the last couple of days. Um, and we're all kind of sharing a bunk tonight here at the Blood Mountain Shelter. Sorry, Blood Mountain uh, Cabins. Um, and the one we're staying in is actually called the Beaver. And I've got a taxidermy beaver up here. Her name is Beatrice. According to the sign and everything else we got here, but she's seen better days. But you gotta let her do her thing. You can pause that and read it if you want to. But uh, yeah, we got our laundry hanging up here. We all did sink laundry. Got a uh, little bit of a shakedown going on. But uh, for the most part, um, we just took the rest of the afternoon to chill, hang out, relax with a couple of folks. Um, we met up with a couple other folks on the trail. We just spent a couple hours hanging out with them, uh, <laughs> playing a couple drinking games and just having a good time, just chilling out. Um, but tomorrow we have an 11.2 mile day to Low Gap Shelter. And after that, we have a 15 to get to Trey Mountain. And then I believe a 12 to get to Dick's Creek, Dick's Creek Gap. Um, so once we get that taken care of, that'll get us into Hiawassee. We're probably going to have to take a hitch or a shuttle, but one way or another, we're going to go in there. Uh, probably going to be staying at a bed and breakfast there. Who knows? It's a couple days off. Plans change all the time when we're out here. But, uh, yeah. So the funny thing of the day, we made it from the gooch to the beaver. <laughs> We've all had more than a, a good laugh about that for obvious reasons because we're all 12 years old. But it's okay. So... I'm going to turn in for the night, and I will catch you folks in the morning. Uh, if not here, then definitely once we head out onto the trail. Uh, so y'all have a great evening, and I'll catch you later.